I'm in South Haven, so we're going to hear Jets. I am at the J.C. Penney again. Should I shut the windows? It's 66 degrees. It is so beautiful out that I have my windows open and now we have the loud jets. We'll get used to it. I have two things to talk about. I was going to come out and talk just about one thing. My six-year anniversary of eating meat and only meat for the most part. And I'll fill you in. But now I also have another little story, and I'm going to start with that. It has been cold, and my neighbor and I have not been sitting outside chatting like we normally do in the summer. And, you know, it was uh, a, nice, a nice little break. But today she called me, and she said, you want to go sit outside? And I said, yes. I had just eaten, and it was nice out, and I haven't talked to her for probably a week. I mean, we usually talk every day. But... I went outside willingly and happy to have a little break now that I'm spending less time selling fabric because that's the whole point. I want to just be free to do other things. So I went and sat outside with her and I started filling her in on how I want to meet somebody because I hadn't told her about that. And she was like so excited and all for it and she's like, we got to find out if there's places that, uh, that we could go. She goes, I would go with you. She's 82. I'm 62. But I would absolutely go with her and not have to be alone, you know? So I was like, we were going back and forth and I was just telling her, I'm going to JCPenney today. I want to check out some more things because I found some stuff online. Uh, but I wanted to come here to see the clothing and feel the clothing, knowing that I have way more options online. And boy, am I glad I came to see these. They, they were called like three quarter length t-shirts and they were 100% cotton. I, I tried on a size 3X because I wanted something a little bit loose because 100% cotton is going to shrink. The sleeves, if I had my arms down, completely covered my fingers. That's how long the sleeves were. It always cracks me up that they think a big person has gorilla arms, long gorilla arms. I don't even know if gorillas have long arms, but you know what I'm talking about. Hang on, somebody's walking by. So anyway, I came to JCPenney. I looked at the shoes. I left empty-handed again, but I'm okay with that. I have a lot of options that I can go shopping at, and I'm going to just keep shopping and just, I'll find stuff. So I tell my neighbor that I'm shopping to try to get ready to have some clothes because I would like to meet somebody, go on a date, maybe go dancing. I was like, I'd love to go dancing, but I don't really want to go to a, you know, a club. If Derek is playing, I'll absolutely go see him if I have somebody as long as they don't drink with me. But it would be nice to meet somebody at a place not drinking because then I would know they're okay with not drinking unless they have it in their pocket or something. So while we're talking, there's another neighbor across the street. She's the one that had said to me once, Oh, you always walk. Walk, if, you know, come to my door and let me know and I'll come out and walk with you or something like that. She was like inviting herself to walk with me. And this is like early on and I was like petrified that she was going to want to walk with me one day. <laughs> I would never go by her apartment. But anyway, uh, she came over. She has two little dogs, and she saw us sitting outside, so she just wanted to walk over. And uh, I, I, I know her well enough. I know her name and, uh, you know, a little chat here and there, but not like I know Bonnie. Bonnie is my neighbor, and the other one is Becky. And Becky, I found out, is 72. So 62, 72, 82. And I'm the youngest of the girls. <laughs> So she comes over and uh, she goes, guess what? And Bonnie goes, what? She goes, I had a date. I went on a date. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, that's what we're talking about. I says, I'm supposed to be going on a date. And this is the most that I've ever talked to her. And I found out she's very, very fun and funny. So um, her husband died just a year ago. 
my husband died six years ago this month. Her husband, a year ago this month, and uh, Bonnie's husband was killed by an ATV or something, t taking it off a truck. And uh, I don't know if it, I don't know if it was an ATV. Something, something came off a truck and crushed him while he was out hunting with his friends, and they were already out hunting, and he was going to be doing something. And he got crushed to death like that. So that's kind of sad. But anyway, I don't know what month, but he died 11 years ago. So. Um, Anyway, back to my story. I'm like, where did you meet him? Because I want to go. And she goes, he lives right here in the apartments. We had a fire, I don't know, maybe a month ago or a little longer uh, than that. In uh, Across, uh, it, actually in the building that, where Becky lives. It was the apartment above her caught on fire. And uh, uh, everybody was outside. And the firemen were getting everybody out of that building and all that stuff. And uh, she met him. He was there to watch the fire. And uh, he lives in the same building as her. And she's 72. I think she said he's younger, 65 or 68. And I'm like, I, I was just, it was just so funny because I'm just talking about this. I'm like, I didn't know I could meet somebody right here. And so she said, uh, there are places to meet people. So we started talking about other things, but you know, she filled us in on her fun little date and she just really liked him. And so anyway, she's like, keep your hands off him. He's my, anyway, just so, you know, I, I was glad to have, I guess, I don't know. Do I still want friends? I don't. I, I'd be happy with no friends. Women friends, happy to not have any. But I'm fortunate if I have some who, um, are interested in my journey of meeting somebody because I don't want to go places alone. So anyway, Becky said, uh, you know what we should do? She says, we should take you to the singles dance. And Bonnie's like, what are you talking about? They have a singles dance. And she said, yes, it's 55 and up. And there's usually a DJ, but sometimes there's a band. She goes, I was going every week. I'm like, there's every week. She's like, yeah. She goes, some weeks there's like nobody there. Other weeks you, you hit it lucky and there's a lot of people. She says, there's usually a 92-year-old man that's there every week, every weekend. And he wants to dance with everybody. I'm like, I'll dance with a 92-year-old. So she's like, we have to make plans after the holidays that we will go together. And I'm all in. I'm all in to do that. And uh, uh, I, I told Bonnie, I says, I can drive us or, you know, I don't know if Becky wants to take her own vehicle, but whatever. And there's no drinking at this social party for 55 and up. Then there's another thing that is uh, for seniors, because I'm a senior now. And uh, they do uh, like line dancing and other things and they have a website so I'm going to be looking that up with all the different activities. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to go someplace that it looks like people who are nursing home ready. You know, that's not what I'm looking for. So I'm not hopeful that I would find the kind of youthful kind of old man <laughs> that I'm looking for at one of these dances. but. It would be good for me to do that, just to get out. And uh, she says, if there's no men, just all us women dance. I I I'm good with that, too. So uh, maybe I can record that. How fun that would be. Um, anyway, so it was it was just such a coincidence that she has a date. She didn't say if she had another date or if it's planned or whatever. She's like, but give it give it a little time. She says, I might might not like him. And, you know, we we're just laughing about how, how it is. So I was excited that uh, that I have some hopeful plans because the, the dating sites, I mean, that's just, it's fun. But I'm not really going to meet somebody that way. It would be, uh, I mean, I could, I could, but I would much prefer you know, sitting at a table with my seltzer water and looking around and knowing that people are there because they would like to mingle at the very least and, you know, see what I, what I find. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that. All right. Now, carnivore, six years. Uh, I'm going to make it short uh, because... I've talked about this so much in the past, you know, in the, at the beginning especially. But what it is, is I found uh, a woman named Kelly Hogan, uh, an article one night, and it changed my life. I, at my highest weight, I was 338 pounds. 
and then I ended up losing a little bit just on my own but I was so miserable with cravings it was completely controlling my life I would wake up what am I going to eat and it, and I could eat and then you know 20 minutes later be craving some more and it, I hated it so much I hated it and um, I ended up going a year almost a year of uh, low carb and I didn't really feel that much better uh, you know I still had cravings but I don't know uh, and then after I think it was 11 months something like that I just I just pigged out I went and bought I think I had I know I have it in a video somewhere something like seven bags of chips all different flavors and I was just I was just I had just completely fallen off the wagon I was binging ice cream whatever I could get my hands on and um, I did that for a little while you know like several weeks and I I was so so incredibly depressed because of I realize now all that junk I mean that just it, it, it's very it makes you depressed me anyway and um, and then just sad because I was like I can't believe I have to live my whole life with cravings that I hate so I started looking stuff up and I found an article that had just come out um, in good housekeeping or, or some, one of those and anyway um, this woman was talking about how she ate just meat and you know all the struggles that she went through and all the things and I was up most of that night reading everything I could the Facebook group that she talked about and I was all in and then I went to the store the next morning and I stocked up on meat and that was six years ago and that's what I've been doing ever since I've never had anything that lasted so long I've never had anything that um, allows me to eat as much as I want of meat and, and not have cravings never feel bloated it really is um, it, it's just it's just remarkable uh, if you are a person who suffers with cravings or you just can't control yourself you know and this is this changed my life I I know a lot of people think it's the most unhealthy thing that anybody can do and um, I don't care my thing that I was always telling everyone is this is the way I choose to die I want to kill myself with meat have heart attacks strokes whatever as long as I can feel good now I know some of you might think but you're so depressed Darlene you're crying all the time it's different stuff has happened in my life there's a difference between a clinical kind of depression which I was highly medicated for at one point if anyone would have told me then you are allowed to eat just meat because I love meat you're allowed to eat just meat and you're going to feel better I mean that that's all it took for me um, anyway so th sadness and and depression uh, it's different uh, what I'm going through is sadness you know the stuff that you see me crying about it's not depression um, because I can still get up I can still get up and focus on this is my issue how can I help myself with the you know people who are depressed y you're just like in a fucking hole you, you don't even want to get out of it you you have it, it's just really really dark um okay so i i still am eating my meat and i eat any kind of meat i want but i tend to eat i mean my main meal is beef i eat a lot of ground beef i buy ground beef patties i had today for lunch i had a big pork steak and four hamburger patties I ate all the hamburger patties and there's a little piece of pork left and I the other thing that I do dabble in is dairy now in the group that I'm in a lot of people complain because they're not losing weight and this was never a weight loss thing for me and or for anyone it is to uh, help in other ways one is depression another is anxiety it, it never really helps me with that but then the big one is joint pain if I eat just meat and water all my joint pain can go away I have one knee that can really flare up and at, at sometimes the shoulder can and all that goes away and if I uh, have dairy it can come back and I'm still having dairy but boy I'm trying to really cut back on that anyway so let's get back to the weight of it so when I started that I weighed myself that morning 
and I was 319 pounds. Uh, like I said, this, the highest I ever saw on the scale was 338. I could have been higher than that, but I started at 319 pounds, and then I pretty much stayed off the scale. I didn't want to uh, be focusing on that, and but I did an update, I saw in my videos, at eight months, and at eight months, I had lost an additional 35 pounds and this is eating thousands of calories of meat. I mean, in a week. But, uh, you know, it's easy for me to eat two to 3,000 calories per day because I eat all the fat and all that stuff. So um, that was eight months in. So let's say, for the sake of easy math, that brought me down to like around 285, something like that. So I did end up losing a little bit more after that. Um, so probably after doing that for two years, so like four years ago, the lowest I ever saw was 264 on the scale. And then shortly after that, I gained some. So for four years, I've been bouncing back and forth between 270 and 280. And I was okay with that because I was like, my cravings are gone and I'm not gaining any more weight. I, I lost a nice little chunk and I'm not gaining it back. And that made me happy and I can do everything that I want to do, but I haven't lost anything since. So I was just like, okay, this is the way it's going to stay. I never get sick of it, never get sick of it. Right now I have probably been living off hamburger patties for, I don't know, I'd have to look at my Walmart purchases uh, months. Before that, it was a lot of London broil steaks that I would slice up. And I just go through periods where I just want something easy and the hamburger patties are just awesome. Okay. Oh, yes. I was telling you. Now the group has made some changes. And it's that Kelly Hogan. Again, you can look her up on YouTube. And she um, now decided, and at first it really pissed me off because the whole thing that I loved about that group is nobody talked about like weight loss specifically. But the new thing now that Kelly is pushing, and like I said, it pissed me off because I was like, don't tell me now I all of a sudden have to start figuring out shit. There, I don't even really understand it because I, I don't want to really learn it. But uh, some people, you know, broke it down and said, just do this. Just start eating more fat if you're not losing weight. It, eat the same amount of meat you're eating but start adding fat to it or drinking all the juices from the fat. Now, a lot of times I would put some of the grease of my hamburger patties on my plate because I just like it. It's nice and juicy and, and I like the flavor and all that. Um, now I drink all of it. I make sure I drink all of it. Now, I only started this maybe two weeks ago and uh, I always put a little bit of butter in my coffee just for the richness, but now I put more of it and uh, I put nice big chunks of butter in with my hamburger patties and I eat and drink all of that stuff. And I haven't weighed myself because again, I just, I wanna give it time. I feel, I feel great that way. My, my joints are good um, and when I'm not sad, I, I feel very good. I feel very alert. And, and look at me. I wonder if that has anything to do with me all of a sudden wanting to start doing things, getting out of the apartment. Maybe I have uh, more mental energy. That's a coincidence. But I'm going to continue doing this. And yes, if I die from a heart attack or stroke, just know that I died happy that I was trying this. Now, they count macros and all. It sounds way too keto to me, and I've never done it. And But there are some that, you know, just say, it, I'm talking about the people who have been doing these things for a while, you know, just at, up your fat intake and uh, you'll be good. So that's what I've done. And uh, sometimes if I'm, like, just going to bed and I'm like, I'll just eat a big chunk of butter. I just bite it right off the stick of butter. There are people in the group who are eating one stick of butter or more per day. They try to get a whole stick in every day. <laughs> it sounds bizarre. It really does. But uh, uh, anyway, so um, the last time I weighed myself, 
because Derek, I haven't had a scale since my move because uh, they broke it. So I never bought one. Derek didn't have a scale. He bought one. It was like around homecoming time. When did I go to the homecoming game? Was it like in September or whatever? I weighed myself, but I, I wasn't doing this yet, but I had weighed myself once and I, I was back down to like 267. So I was under uh, 270. Um, so I'm just, that's like the last weight that I saw on a scale. And I, I did have um, my sneakers on. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. We're not going to worry about a pound or two. So I'm going to give it a, a little while. Maybe I'll weigh myself in the new year. And we'll see um, if eating hunks of butter and more meat and drinking all that grease <laughs> has, has done anything for my weight. Um, all right. So there's that. And I... Um, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to go out with these two old ladies. I'm old too. <laughs> you know, nobody, nobody could have ever convinced me that I would be here and that I might go out on the town with a 72 and an 82 year old to go to a place with no alcohol and to meet old men. <laughs> this is what my life has come to. But I'll do it. If I have the opportunity, I will do it because I need to start doing other things. Even if I hate it, even if I never want to do it again, I kind of don't think I'll ever want to do that again. But I'll do it once and I'll try to take you guys along for the ride for that. It could be interesting. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.